Je vais faire un peu la synthèse entre la, le français et l'anglais. Vielleicht auch auf Deutsch sagen, Grüß Gott. Rajmahan, Monsieur le Président, Excellence, Éminence, Mesdames, Messieurs, chers amis, j'ai le grand honneur et le plaisir de m'adresser à un auditoire remarquable et je vous remercie d'être venu si nombreux à ce début de, du forum sur la sécurité humaine pour l'année 2010. Comme vous le savez, le principe fondateur du forum est qu'ensemble, on puisse assumer notre responsabilité dans la réalisation d'un avenir commun et rassurant. On a tous un rôle à jouer pour conforter notre sécurité humaine et pour la construction d'un monde meilleur. Dans ce contexte de la sécurité humaine, chaque individu, fort ou faible, apporte une contribution vraiment significative. Le changement est possible. Le progrès est réalisable. Tout changement part de chacun de nous. Tout progrès est partagé par l'ensemble. Ce forum estime en conséquence qu'il est nécessaire de préconiser des changements dans la dynamique traditionnelle des relations humaines en encourageant et en favorisant une plus profonde écoute, menant à plus de solidarité et une proche attention aux blessures du passé. Moins de compétition, en quelque sorte, et plus de coopération et d'éthique dans l'esprit traditionnel de co- et d'initiative pour le changement. Les initiatives individuelles doivent être préparés, comme nous le faisons ici, raffinés, renforcés et redéployés dans un monde qu'elles doivent transformer et rendre plus sécurisant. Le Forum atteint ce but en assurant aux participants venant d'horizons divers, comme vous le savez, la possibilité de se lancer des défis d'une manière délicate et amicale, tout en œuvrant au changement salutaire. C'est notre conviction que malgré la gravité des dangers auxquels sont confrontés la sécurité humaine et la paix, aussi bien la paix individuelle que la paix collective, ensemble, on peut espérer les surmonter. Dear friends, as human beings, we all share a measure of insecurity. In as much as in our life experience, we have our share of hardship, trauma, and danger. We have either met them firsthand, this trauma, this danger, or have come to consider them our own following a process of continuous recounting. There are means to overcome these traumas, yet, constant exposure to aggravating factors, especially economic hardship, prevents us from using these means. As the first forum for human security was unfolding in July 2008, we were already concerned with the initial signals of tension in the state of the world economy, remember. Our analysis of the situation then brought us to the conclusion that save a tremendous change in our pattern of economic consumption and waste, we would be facing a gruesome financial meltdown that would plunge millions more under the threshold of poverty. That perspective was to some extent unbelievable for some. Yet, 
in the autumn of the same year. These apprehensions were largely shared. The financial crisis showed us once more that we need to act preventively. We were therefore stimulated in the second forum in July 2009 to thoroughly assess the root causes of insecurity. We agreed on them as being poverty, poor governance, wounded memory, environmental degradation, and religious and cultural misunderstandings. It is high time for us now to analyze further what we have learned since and take up the commitment to effectively tackle the serious challenges with which we are faced. It took all of human history to grow the seven trillion dollars economy of 1950. We now grow by that amount in a decade. Yet this economy is not inclusive. We spent $1,400 billion in armament and only $100 billion in, in development assistance. There are over a billion marginalized poor people in our planet, which is a source of insecurity. This kind of concern can also be stated about environmental degradation with the ground gas effect, groundhouse gas effect and its consequences, about bad governance and its consequences, about the exploitation of cultural differences and about wounded memory, as all of them are indeed increasingly causing conflict around the world. Dear friends, many consider crisis as a perfect catalyst for change. They can be so abrupt, uprooting, devastating, and merciless that they somehow manage to prompt individuals and collectivities to seek change. And in a sense, this was the reason for initiating the core forum for human security. True, crisis sometimes steer us in uncharted waters. Yet if we manage to navigate them wisely and reevaluate our means and our modes of existence and production, and we can, yes we can, we will create an opportunity to change the way the world is run, the way the world is exploited, the way the world is gradually threatened. We must take this task upon ourselves. We are gathered here today with the aim of developing a call for strategic action, a resolute pledge to the fulfillment of our mission. This core call for strategic action is meant not only to outline the challenges we face, but also to look at the opportunities we have to meet them and prompt the necessary commitment this effort would require. In designing the core, we take up the strategic aims devised during the 2009 forum, which will serve as action path guidance landmarks they are familiar to you now. Let me repeat them. Achieving better governance at the individual, national, and international le level. Yes, governance is at, all, at these three levels, not only at the national level. Unfolding plan plans meant to check environmental degradation everywhere, elevate peoples from poverty and suffering, encouraging individuals to rise above cultural and religious rifts in an effort to cherish diversity and differences, and helping peoples overcome the injustices of history, and thus inspire individuals to embark upon a process of altruistic self-help, a real revolution of conscience in a sense. 
Dear friends, as you know, idleness is not an option. Improving our condition is within reach. We must all seize the opportunity and help and help deliver the new world, our better world. Significant change requires matching goals. Yet we must understand that the peace and well-being of our human family are entirely, entirely dependent upon the solidarity, upon the empathy, upon the compassion that each of us is willing to show. Without that, we cannot hope to build a safe and peaceful future. Sharing is key to our collective survival. Together we suffer. Together we mend. Together we hope. Together we stand. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.